We're going 55 right now and we're not even at 2,000 RPMs. Hey guys, we are in Avon Park, Florida. And it is getting very windy suddenly. <laughs> we are here to go pick up our new bus. You know, we did a lot of a lot of looking around to try to find a good place where we could get a bus. Mm -hmm. And the easiest thing for us was to call a place called Avery Bus, located here in Avon, Florida. And the reason is, is he had such a huge selection. I think he's got, I don't know, 50, 60 buses on his lot. And you know, we could just call and say, look, we're looking for you know this 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 and this and you know he was able to go out on his lot and you know find exactly what we were looking for and so we're and he's got a bus picked out for us so we're kind of excited to go over and see it yeah so we were looking for a bus that had storage bays underneath that had an engine in the rear and it was um, at least 40 feet or as close yeah. to 40 feet as possible <laughs> i think he found a 38 footer and what was our other requirement that it was a school bus yeah, we want to stay with the school bus. We thought about going with a coach bus and in the end we decided, you know what, school bus is way better. So we also want to do uh, say a big shout out to our patrons. Um, we so appreciate your guys' support. When YouTube demonetizes a video and we can no longer make anything on that video, the people who are supporting us on Patreon is a huge help so if you're not a patreon supporter consider doing that um, you can support us for you know doing what we're doing creating you know creating videos and stuff on youtube for as little as a dollar a month so yeah. check that out and become a patreon supporter and all of you guys who are patreon supporters we really appreciate it yeah thanks guys all right so let's go check out our new bus Yay! <laughs> yesterday we went to home depot because um you know i know that there's a few tools i don't have that i'm going to need for doing this bus conversion most of the tools i do have but i needed an angle grinder and i needed a table saw and i've been wanting to get the dewalt cordless table saw so when we went there they had a sale you know they're normally 4.99 and they come with a battery um and when we went there they had a sale on one for 350 with a free battery and when I went up to check out and they rang it through, it came up as 250 with a three with a free battery. So so it comes with a battery. I got a free battery and I got the saw for 250 bucks, which is a steal. Um, it's a 60 volt max, so I'm interested to see how it how it works. Table saw. All right, so I need to get some feedback on what the kids think about getting the new bus today. Zaya, what are your thoughts? Uh, I'm very excited to see how it's going to turn out. Yeah, Ashton? It's got to be awesome. It's exciting. Ethan, who's drying dishes? I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait. <laughs> Seth, what do you think about getting our new bus? Are you excited? He's excited that it's, it's a Thomas bus. Yeah, it is a Thomas bus, isn't it? Mm, it's going to be so cool. I'm excited that I get my new bed. And Julie's already done a design for this bus. We're still tweaking it and stuff. So we'll reveal the plan to everybody when um, we get the bus so I can put in exact dimensions because, um, yeah, that's real. It's a custom plan, but of course, I don't have the exact dimensions yet. I want to finalize that before I reveal the plans. So when we built the Good News bus, we only had five children. Now we have seven with one more on the way. Um, so we had, you know, we've got four bunks in here. Two of the younger kids were sharing a bunk. That's five. So we were taken care of. As we've grown, I had made the table to convert into a bed. So the kids were able to use that. But now we've got another one. So we want to give every child their own bed. It's going to be really exciting. We're going to have, when you walk into the bus, there'll be two sofas on each side. It's going to be nice, a separate kitchen area. So we're really excited about the new design. And uh, yeah, let's go see this bus.
So we're here at Avery Bus, and this is it. This is it. Yep. She's all ready to go. Yes, it is. Yeah. So y'all take a look. Uh, yeah. I'll get a tag put on so y'all go for a test run. And yeah. Go for that. Sounds good, man. Thanks. We'll right. Take a look at it. So this is, this is it. Look, they got cam. There's cameras in here. Uh, yeah, they have to do that on these. Yeah, these buses. buses. Back when I was a kid, we didn't have to have cameras because we were just good all the time. Hi, Daddy. Oh wow, that's a lot of storage. And that opens on the other side. Yeah, here's Jesse's spot. Is it longer than hours? Yeah. We'll take it for a test run. Guys, open some windows. Everybody seated. Where are you, Sethy? Okay, good boy. Okay, be seated. Here we go. Why is it so smooth? Air ride. We're going 55 right now and we're not even at 2,000 RPMs. How many miles does this bus have? 110,000 miles. It's very quiet, very nice. Yeah, I like it. I could see myself in this bus. So this is a 2005 Thomas Safety Liner Pusher. It's already got an air ride seat in it. So I don't even need a new air ride seat. I don't even need an air ride seat. Yeah, so rides very smooth. I think this is a go. You like it? Yeah. I like it too. I like how big the windows are in the front. I'm back here at the rear of the bus. The engine sits right here behind me. And it is pretty quiet actually. Um, I'm not yelling. Usually in our bus, we're kind of talking like this with the southern accent and everything. I like it. Still here, Mac. Who are you listening to, Arwen? Toby Mac. You know, we were able to call him and tell him, we need this, 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 and that about this particular bus. We called several lots and um, almost everybody couldn't accommodate those needs. And he was really good. He's like, you know what, I will find the bus that you, you guys need. And luckily he, uh, he had exactly what we wanted and um, we're not disappointed. When we came here, it was exactly what he said it would be, so. You in the market for a uh, fire truck? Yeah. I think this would be a nice bus. If we didn't need extra length, I think this would be a nice bus to do. Well, these are the do the newer style dog noses, which actually I, out of all the dog noses I've seen, I think I like these the best. They have more this style look to them. Which is? To Thomas. Seth would like that. Like this one here looks like a really beefy bus. 
This is this is like That is like really tall. Yeah. Okay, so with the raised roof. Huge entryway. So if you don't want to mess with raising the roof in your bus, this is the best option. Huge roof raise. If somebody is looking for a school bus they want to convert, I would definitely recommend checking out this one. It has a pretty cool look to it. It's got that like real beefy look. Yeah. It's got a roof raise already. It's just not long enough for us. And it's got built-in air conditioning. Nice storage base. you do a bus conversion you never see school buses the same again you see a school bus and you're like oh yeah I see so much possibility there another really cool thing that they're doing for us is they're removing all the seats yes so it's a big benefit for us because it's a lot of work to take out those seats all right we're here with Matt at Avery bus and truck um, and we've picked out our bus. We got it. And the only reason we're not gonna be able to take it home today is because we're working on getting insurance on it. And we wanna have insurance on it before we can head down the road. So if you guys are any of you starting a project like this, you're looking for a bus and you're in this general area, it's worth giving Matt here a call and just saying, hey, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I need. And I'm sure, I mean, we've walked through here. We've seen a lot of the buses. There's, really nice buses here give him a call and check it out and he went over and above he took the seats out for us so that's pretty much a day's work for awesome. us yeah. taken out um, yep. a little bit of extra work but yeah, yeah <laughs> be done. but they did it really fast and efficient so that yeah. was a, a deal maker yeah deal maker <laughs> not a deal go. breaker anyway so, well man right. we are yeah. thankful that we yep. found our bus all right all right thanks all right, so i'm both excited and sad. I was really looking forward to driving that bus tonight, driving it out of there and back to Orlando where we're going to be doing the conversion on it. But you know, there's times you just don't get everything you want. I, I'm, I don't know if uh, we're going to stay in this parking lot tonight. There's a books a million over here, an Ashley furniture, a Marshalls, Starbucks is right over there. Yeah.